926 right now. And the fight over whether to bring a new Walmart store to Chicago is reaching a boiling point. The mayor and various community leaders are fighting with groups opposed to the stores. Alderman Anthony Bill joins us live right now to explain why he thinks Chicago needs the stores. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks. Why is it so important for uh, Chicago to get these stores, do you think? Well, I think uh, in the climate that we have, uh, our country is in with the economy, uh, being in the tank. Uh, right now, Walmart is the only entity that's looking to come into the city of Chicago and expand, bring jobs, bring revenue. That'll help offset our deficit that's getting bigger every single day. And one of the hot topics on the table in this negotiation is the city mandated wage. And, mm -hmm. you know, a representative from Walmart was saying, yeah, we'd consider it if it applies to everyone. What are your thoughts on this issue? Well, they've always said that if uh, we put a living wage in place across the board, that they would they would support that. But what happens is the other retailers will not support it. Uh, so now we're in a trick bag as far as how do we move this thing forward. And you know, we're only 53 cents away from a deal. The unions are asking for 11.03. Walmart average on the west side is $10.50. So we're only 53 cents away from having Walmart. Isn't that kind of silly when you think about it? And why should Walmart have to pay 53 cents more when all these other retailers don't want to pay that? Well, that's, that's our argument. Uh, the city council is not the body for regulating private industry and retailers as far as what they should or should not pay. If that's the case, everybody in our wards will be coming to us saying, I don't make enough money, could you please put an ordinance in so I can make more money? That's not our responsibility. We have a responsibility to bring jobs into our, in, into our community. Uh, and, and, you know, Walmart is looking to come into five communities that have food deserts. The, you know, there are five black and brown wards that they're looking to expand that don't have Dominex, don't have Jewel, and we don't have fresh produce and things like that. So they're trying to really plug a hole to heal our community from a health standpoint. Sounds like the mayor is trying to help you guys out, trying to help push for Walmart to come here. Who are the biggest opponents right now, and have you met with them? Well, you know, I've been trying to negotiate on both ends. I, I've been operating in good faith with the unions and with Walmart. They will not sit down with one another. So, you know, we're trying to mediate this thing, um, you know, and, and try to bring cool heads together. But if the unions don't agree, is that, does that squash it completely? What well, if the unions never agree? Well, the unions, the, the thing is, um, I've talked to Ron Powell, uh, from uh, 881 and he has given me 10 bullet points of things that they would like Walmart to do. I've negotiated nine out of the 10. The living wage is the only one that I have not been, a been able to ne negotiate with them. And I'm just trying to get that one piece. So it ha somebody has to give but, and somebody has to but take. But is it up to him or is it up to city council and lawmakers? Well, it's definitely up to the city council, but what happens is some of these unions have a lot of clout in the city council and they have some leverage. So which, which city council members are the biggest problems? Well, again, which alderman? I, I don't want to get into who our problems are, but we're, we're trying to solve the problem and, and get to the end result to bring the, these services to the community about the wage being big issue. Am I correct? The federal uh, minimum wage right now is 725. That's right? correct. And so we're talking about 725 is minimum. That's what the federal government said. Mm -hmm. But uh, some parties involved in this want it to be 11 what? 1103. 11, and that's considered living wage by their standard. That, that's correct. All right. Well, thank you, Owner, for coming in. I know it's thank a story you. that we're going to continue to follow as, uh, as people get more interested in. Yeah, thank you so much.